right the hop this way show joining you for on a special sunday and you know happy mother's day everyone happy mother's day oh, exactly, right? we're not even here for mother's day how do we even forget about that um but if we are here on a sunday whether it's mother's day or not and we do send out special happy mother's day to everyone out there um it means it's something special though yes because today we have a special guest mm -hmm. guys how excited are you for this one? This is this is something that doesn't happen often because we've been looking around the internet to see any past interviews with this actor, and there are not a lot out there. So just for you folks, we got the special. We have got none other man. than Officer Lee himself, Mr. Tom Weston Jones. Hey, Tom hey everybody. Hi. <laughs> This is uh this is amazing. Thanks so much for being on the show, Tom. Uh a great character you play on this show and a show that has just absolutely captured the hearts of audiences around the world. Um thank you so much for doing this. Um, no, it, thank you. I, I no. What a strange uh, comment. <laughs> <laughs> uh no, I like I, I really appreciate being on the show. I absolutely adore it and and you know anything that um Giving my giving my time to you guys, but the, the show really, really, really wouldn't be going into a third season if it wasn't for all the people who who enjoy it. So I I, I owe a lot to you guys actually. So thank you, thank you. That's what I should be saying basically. Our pleasure, and uh, we give all the props out honestly to the woman to your uh, left there, uh, Rebecca <laughs> Nishi, the Warrior Max Princess, who uh, is uh, you know getting us up with the petitions and, right. you know, reaching out to all the actors on the show and uh, maybe the glue that holds us all together. Well, this is the thing. I, I'm, I'm not on, on social media anymore, so I'm not particularly clued up on who's involved or, or, or what the process has really been. So, yeah, I really should know who Rebecca is. So, yeah, thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> thank you. Well, Emily is our... Binds right. She, she always passes passes my message to you. I hope she has passed my poem I made for Officer Lee. I haven't seen that. No, I haven't no. seen. It. Oh my gosh! No. <laughs> I'm gonna send you. Yes, please. And Share now everyone, else, now all the fans have to see it too. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're we're gonna post it up here now, Tom. The way uh, we normally do this is uh, we each like to. Uh, welcome you to the tongue by asking a few questions about the show uh, about your career but there is one member of our tongue who is chiefly responsible for initiating our guests into our tongue so that is through tongue trivia and that is done by none other than the man who made our theme song as well chew america himself money matt <laughs> chew how you doing matt hello yes it is <laughs> i and i am him Oh no, Matt. Are you gonna are you gonna be testing me? I will be, but don't worry. It, it'll be I'll be very gentle. Don't you don't you worry your pretty heart. All right. So pretty much how this is gonna go, right? Um, because we are a little strapped for time, you know, and we gotta respect it all. I'm going to do a very super abridged version of Tong Trivia. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask you three questions and a random fourth, and you just answer them and then once we get a little better knowledge of you you are initiated into the hop this way tong and you oh, are man. one of us one <laughs> of us i mean it's better than a hazing i suppose oh so. yeah this is this is much 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 better and easier we'll see tom we'll see <laughs> i mean yeah it this we'll we'll find out and is this, oh, is, this right. is this going from tong trivia to tom trivia Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, As a resident dad, I have to put we, those puns out there. I'm guys, I, for, I forget my own age on a daily basis, so please. <laughs> make sure all. all right. All right Matt. So, Tom, are you ready for Tong trivia? 
As ready as I'll ever be. Perfect. Here we go. Question number one. Superpower you would want, and would you be a hero or villain? Oh, man. Superpower. I, I mean, the obvious one, I suppose, you know, the kid in me is going flight, flight, flight. Um, but actually, I would really love to know what everyone thinks. Wow. Um, maybe that's because, you know, um, I'm an actor. That's kind of what we're all uh, obsessed with, I suppose. Um, but I think if I was to do that, it probably would make me pretty evil, I suppose. <laughs> Because Depends. people think very strange things. People mm. think some very, very odd things. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think I'd think i probably lean into the villainous side by accident. Ooh, by accident. he'd be tempted by the dark side. Well, every <laughs> villain every villain is a hero in their own story. Thank you, Zeus. That's very true. That's this what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you out, Tom. That's all. <laughs> all ahead, right. Man. Next question. App? Well, no, that wouldn't actually apply because you're not on social media anymore. Hey, all right, so never mind. Throw that one out the way. Here we go. Let's go. Who would narrate your life? Ooh. Who would narrate my life? Uh, you, do you know what? <laughs> I would hope that it would be uh, Matt Berry. Um, I don't know if you guys know Matt Berry. He is, uh, have you seen Toast of London, any of you? No, I have so not. It is a ridiculous, ridiculous show. Um, fantastic <laughs> show. It's a comedy about an actor who lives in, in London. And it's kind of, it's, it's sort of made to be bad in a very hilarious way. Um, and Nick and I love it. Nick Pauling, who um, is late, by the way. <laughs> Ooh, tick tock, tick tock. Oh, not that we're throwing him under the bus at all. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I don't, not to name names, but Nick no. Pauling is a terrible human being. <laughs> um, <laughs> but he, him and I have a have a have a, a you know a real love for the show, and I think I imagine he would say the same thing actually. Matt Berry, he has a. I don't really want to do an impression, but I guess I am because I'm 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 doing it. Uh, do it. He, yes. He sort of talks a bit like this, and he has a very strange. <laughs> Um, the way he uh, pr uh, sort of enunciates is all wrong. Um, so, yeah, I, I find him endlessly hilarious. So, yeah. I really need is to Google he, this. Is it the guy <laughs> from What We Do in the Shadows? Exactly. Yeah, Matt Berry. Yeah, he's in What We Do in the Shadows. Yes, okay, okay. Oh, oh. Yes. Uh, what's, he, what's his character in What We Do in the Shadows? Uh, I can't remember the character's name. But if you, love, if, you, if you like him in that, you should watch something called Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. Which oh. is a show with Richard Iowardi. Dark place, and it's uh, absolutely hilarious. It's a uh, yeah. Just, uh, that's all I'm going to say because you know I'm, I'm really running on on this question. <laughs> oh no, you are you are fine. <laughs> that's there. the guy. Yes. The okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He has all a right. direct link to my funny bone. Um, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I love it. Here we go. Question number three. Oh, I then this is this is my, this is my favorite. If you had a theme song every time you entered a room, what song would it be? I mean, if I was to choose it, uh, which you know, I'll give you two. I'll give you two choices. Um, I guess if I was to choose it, it would probably be something something funky. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I or maybe I don't know. I, I imagine I would hope it would be that, but it'd probably be something a bit clumsier. My 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 real name is Tom Jones. My acting name is Tom Weston. Uh -huh. Ooh, so exclusive. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's not unusual. I feel, yeah. This is the thing. And this is the uh, maybe that should be my song. Um, right. <laughs> I love it. You and Carlton are the only two could that could have that as your theme song as you walk in everywhere. Hey, the thing that binds us together, um, and yeah, so so I don't know. I, I probably would have something quite cool and uh, uh, suave, but it, I'd probably just end up with it's not unusual. Hey, that's <laughs> fine. Know. That is completely okay. Langley chose two as well. Yeah, well Lang ideal him and the real him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds like Langley, actually. We got to all practice that dance now. Yeah, oh, I mean, man. Langley has a very good sense of humor, um, so and and loves to 
uh, ridicule everything and everyone and himself at the same time. So that doesn't surprise me at all. And fucking tastic. Sean, what's Sean, up, man? Yeah. How you doing? Sean, good to see you, my friend. Okay. Hello, Sean. As usual. Finally. Usually when Sean's in, Brett Chan's not too far behind him. <laughs> Just be, be, be wary of that. <laughs> Our I love the shit talking. Oh, fuck yeah. It always happens. And finally, this is actually a branch off of Tong Trivia. This is actually my own personal question. So well, you and I share the same months in birthdays and the same age as well. No you way. Turning, yeah. So I'm June 2nd. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then you're 29. At the end of the month. Yeah. Yeah. So you're turning 35 as I'm turning 35. Oh, so milestone... My. Milestone birthdays for both of us. Are you doing Scary, huh? are you doing like a big fucking extravaganza type of deal? Or are you keeping it like a low key, few, few friends, family type of deal? I'm a, I'm a, How are you doing it? I'm I don't know. It's one of those birthdays I tend to when I when I've had, like thrown a big thing in the past and there's a lot of people there, I end up kind of freaking out during it and wanting to hide. <laughs> 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 But the thing is, is that we're, we're, you know, soon as you guys may well. There's the, as hey, you. Look at that guy. Big Bill. Wow. Oh no, you, you guys. He puts posted some mad pictures of us up on his uh, Instagram. I think. <laughs> he did. He's, talking, he's like, I, I love that. because I'm not on it. He occasionally goes, can I do this? Can I do this? And I, you know, uh, I, I don't really, I don't really mind. I don't really care. But then some of the things I've seen him put up. <laughs> Derek. Like it's hysterical. Um, yeah. But yeah. sorry. What, oh no, birthday. Yeah, uh, this year because we are due to be going to film uh, the third season of Warrior. I'm definitely going to have something with a lot of people to uh, say, say goodbye. To say goodbye to to family and friends for a, for a little while, hmm. um, and maybe even have something when I'm out there. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. With that hey. gang there, I think you're pretty good. Um, as we saw, Derek Chan said, 35, geez, I have acne scars older than you guys. Wow, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> John Derek says, ha ha, I took care of Brett Chan. He's not showing up today. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God. I find, um, I didn't even know that you guys had Brett on the show before. When's, Brett, when's Brett on the show? I've had, I don't know if we've had Brett on the show. I've no, had Brett's Brett not on been on the show. show. He oh, randomly jumps man. into the chat room and him and Sean argue just yeah, always I, the first five minutes. It's fantastic. I've okay. had Brett on my own show before, but. You've got to have him on, man. He's he's so good. He's, he's so busy. He's so busy. Yeah. He's a busy guy. He he catches up with, literally with everyone that he hasn't seen for the last three years in the quarantine. So every day he posts like with <laughs> one fellow like, uh, chatting with him after three years on seeing, yeah, like that. and that's coming off of Halo. <laughs> right. yeah, he was busy as being a busy yeah. man, very, very definitely, busy. definitely, definitely busy. busier as well. So, yeah, can't wait. I honestly can't <laughs> wait. Now, uh, Steph, uh, do you have a question there for Tom? Oh, well, well, wait, before I move on, Matt, would, was that a satisfying Tom for you? Oh, what do you yeah. Tom because can I ask what you're doing for your birthday, man? So I'm it, I'm keeping it probably as low key because what I did like for my birthday. So I started from 21 to 30, and each each one got progressively more ridiculous <laughs> and huge. And then like once I'm finally like in the 30s, so now I just invite like a few like close friends and family. Yeah. We come to the house and we'll just like chill out in the backyard, have a few tequilas because you must have tequila when you're at my crib at all times, you know. And uh, yeah, that's it's going to be real low key this time. Nice, nice. That's all I, think, I need in life. I think there's something really like to be said for becoming curmudgeonly in your thirties. It's quite nice to reduce your friendship group in quite a cutthroat oh, way. Oh yeah, wait oh. till you're two years away from fifty. I'm just oh. saying, it's even more Listen, beautiful. Guess where you don't even want to socialize. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> And you have the built-in no. excuse to say, oh, I'm really tired tonight. I'm not quite as young as I used to be. And you don't, yeah. you're not even tired at all. You're just like, you just don't want to go. Yeah. <laughs> my, my wife and I, like, we had to cancel plans the other day and she felt really bad. And I just said to her, like, you know, you've, you've gifted the people a free evening. They're going to be having the time of their life in their 30s, not, like mm -hmm. knowing they don't have to be somewhere. 
it's what well, you know, it's a it's a hidden secret in your yeah. in your 30s it's just like man they canceled oh, oh. shit I guess, <laughs> I guess we gotta have snacks and watch fucking something on TV. <laughs> again oh uh, yeah yeah i love it that's exactly yes. what happened yesterday my friend came over we're like are we going yeah no we're just gonna chill yeah we're a little yeah you spent we're, yeah yeah no <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you guys found this as well, but the COVID just certainly accelerated that for me anyway. Did you guys find that? Oh, Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. There, you got to find your blessings where you can. And that was the one thing I was like, I, wow. I still like, use now, it now, that social distancing is actually something I enjoy. I yeah. really actually like it. Um, <laughs> now, we, we talked a little bit about people's timing and stuff. You know, some people have better timing than others, Tom. You have mm. great timing. However, uh -oh. Nick. Yeah. Nick. <laughs> okay. Yes. Nick. You're what happened? Uh, Nick huh? falling. What happened, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm in the Southern Hemisphere, Tom. You can't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Africa, buddy. Oh, mate. I, things I, don't work I, as well as they do up there uh, in the north there, sir. I, I Hello, you. everybody. Sorry I'm late. Thank you for joining the show, uh, Nick, uh, for joining us as well. Nick Paulson, Warrior. Now, tell us what it is wearing the blue aside Tom here. And you got Kieran as well. You guys have got quite the, uh, the, the, the trio or, well, there's a quartet of you, is there not? Yeah, there's Stone as well. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's Stone with lovely Rob. Um, uh, yeah, we, yeah. we have a lot of fun. Kieran's I mean, wonderful. Kieran's wonderful. And uh, and what about me? <laughs> <laughs> huh? That's the that that is the longest stage pause I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> like there's no there's no pause there. There's no pause whatsoever. As we Hello. see uh, we see yes. the gents there with uh, the late mayor and yeah uh, yeah. And then, of course, uh, there this we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, that, that one hits hard seeing that one still. Yeah. Now, now, guys, uh, you're both on here. Let me let's just get a little bit into Warrior and let's first talk to us what it's like. And I'll ask this to you first, Nick, what it's like to when you saw the fanfare for this show, um, especially. I, I like to refer to this as a little show that could, you know, coming from Cinemax and then Cinemax basically folding and the show not being canceled. It was just the station itself folded. The fans that had been back from day one. What was it like to see that and then see the, the momentum try to build up afterwards, trying to get the show back? Uh, kind of amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm uh, sort of, you know, I suppose to distance in my, in my sort of soft focus background role that I fulfill. Um, but it was, um, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's such, and especially for, for, uh, uh, to have the show come back here and, mm. you know, for South Africa to have that kind of, that, that, uh, show come back for us is such an amazing thing. And also, cause I think, you know what, I think it's, a, it's a great show. It's, it's a, it's uh, as you said, a little show that could, and and it's a it's a good show. It's 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 fun. It's it doesn't take itself too seriously. It's a no, it knows what it is, which is yeah. very rare, I think, uh, for shows these days. Um, it knows exactly what it is, and it and there are some really like incredible actors. Um, a lot of them uh, local, very uh, few from England. Tom, um, <laughs> Tim, is it Tom or Tim? Is it Tim? It's 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 Tim. It's is Tim. it Tim? Okay, yes. yeah. Uh, you know, um, but yeah, it's it's amazing. It's 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 incredible. It really is an amazing thing to have. Uh, it is kind of it is kind of mad the, when. Um, sorry to jump in there, Nick. Yeah, uh, off you go, off you go, Tim. I thought, that, I thought you were passing the baton, you know, like Laurel and Hardy. Like this felt that that happening. Um, just Laurel, pal. There's only Laurel here, sir. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, the. Uh, being part of it, and then you know, as you say, Zeus, the the, the channel folding. Uh, I was one of the cynical ones who, it, and partly I suppose because I'm I'm not on again. I have to sound like a broken record because I'm not on social media. I wasn't part of the whole you know process of 
uh, really getting a voice out there to say we should definitely oh but there's my face that's strange <laughs> <laughs> that the show should uh, come back again and um yeah I, I i i kind of just put it really really put it to bed and then kieran kieran lovely kieran determined kieran was very much of the mind from the very beginning like there's more to do here there's definitely more to do and there's more to say uh, and a variety of the other actors were the same um as was Hoon, Hoon, Hoon Lee, as um, was a, a few other people. They, they just, um, they just really felt like we hadn't finished. Um, and and yeah, lo and behold, we were renewed and picked up. And yeah, it was an it was a pretty amazing feeling. But partly because I haven't really been, and I don't know if Nick feels the same, but I I uh, haven't really been part of a show that feels as well connected to people. I always kind of roll my eyes sometimes when people talk about families and. Because sometimes it's not the case. Sometimes people don't get on, and they say that just to make to placate fans and to make everyone feel like we're all, you know, watching a group of people who like each other. And, and it's not always the case. But in, in in this with this example with Warrior, we all get on very 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 well, and we all really just enjoy the material and feel part of it. Really, like Jonathan and and, and the entire creative team really involve us in the world and in the sort of backbone of the story of it. They, they want us to give them input, not, not for like the, the big tectonic plates of the story, but for just the you know, character background and everything. So we do feel very involved. Um, and that's a very rare thing, really rare. Yeah. If I can take that baton away from you, Tom, and uh, to <laughs> add to your- I pass it, should I pass it? Baton. Again, baton transfer furl is what we're dealing with here. Um, but I, uh, what's amazing about the show, and it's very rare, I, I think, is that it's, it feels a lot like a, a, a company, a theatre company. Um, to uh, what Tom was saying is that the 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 collaboration is is real and evident, and and everyone from the top, you know, is is amazingly uh, collaborative, and and you feel, you know, that you have I input to give, which is very rare, I think, uh, on a, on a show. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if you were Bruce fan before, two of you, but mm. many people think like Bruce Lee Spirits were, was around the set, you know, like blessing mm. the show, mm. and every everyone feels that binding family thing. It's like very special, very special. Yeah, it. I mean, I I obviously you know. I didn't grow up with his films, but I certainly did watch them. Did you grow up at all, Tom? The jury's still out, Nick. No one really knows. No one really knows. Maybe Bruce knows. I, think I just want to say, if anyone's ever having trouble trouble with too much light in their house or in their face, just go find Nick. He'll throw all the shade at you. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm in the dark here, Zeus. I'm in the dark. What a cat. Ah! No. Oh, 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 my God. God. Jesus Christ. Did they cut me? No, they didn't. I thought I'd stay in the spirit, Rebecca. I thought, I thought I'd stay true to what I, I mentioned. So I, I've candled up here. <laughs> here we go. You are amazing. You That'll are amazing. be me. You know what? It's once in a lifetime. And he's got his what? wine. Like, what? that is the most what? romantic setting ever. I'll yeah, I should think right, with, the, with the big hoodie over his head and looking. I, up don't, I don't get to see Tim very often, so <laughs> he's trying to burn him. I love it. Big day. <laughs> oh, fabulous! There's lighting uh, candles Steph, in the back. No, Steph, you had a question, right? Well, really, you know, I mean, you know, I, I actually, you know, I've seen. I think uh, Tom, you were in Shadow and Bone, and then. Um, Nick, weren't you in Black Sails? And so I saw that. So I love you guys. Love you guys. Um, but for Warrior, I was wondering just, you know, quickly, what was this like to get a bit of snapshot into U.S. American, you know, Chinese American history and our background? I mean, it's one of the things that I do really love about the job, you know, being an actor um, is that, you know, you get, you know, if you're lucky enough to work, uh, regularly, and you get thrown into worlds that you don't really know about, or just were ignorant to. Um, and this particular period of time, like I've been in in period shows before, but obviously nothing set in San Francisco, and nothing set in this period with this focus. On hey, Tom. Yes. Whoa. Oh, seriously, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> 
That was a different time, a different moment. <laughs> hey, Stewie. Oh, yes. look at that picture. Wow, I look very dirty and grumpy. <laughs> That is the best one, though. That's the best one, yeah. That, that, that just goes to show how seriously I take myself on set. Um, but yeah, yeah you, can, you can tell we're so serious over here. Right? Oh no, it, it's good. I'm glad that you, I'm glad that you aren't. But um, but yeah, the the story itself. Uh, sorry, the, the the period itself and the history it was something I, I I wasn't aware of, and it's just so interesting. It's such a fascinating. Uh, period of time, like very, very painful period of time. And one of the things I love about the show is it addresses it in a variety of different ways. Um, it addresses the, you know, flagrant racism and and the, you know, very, very sensitive subject matter in in both quite sensitive ways, but also quite bombastic ways. It sort of, I feel, you know, I hope that it takes ownership and gives it back to the people who really should have it, which is all of, you know, the, the, the fans who are of Asian American, Asian descent around the world who enjoy the show. And I, I it's one of the things, I've, I've not really been part of something that feels like it's got a real um, reason, like a va real valid reason that is important um, as well. So it, it feels nice, very nice to be part of And so Tom, doing Copper, another 19th century law enforcement role, how do your how do your character preparation for these period roles? Well, um, I, it's one of the things that I tend to do um, is I, I tend to get source material from the period from direct voices of people. I, 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 I for season two, and I don't, I won't be. I had to talk cautiously about it, but now <laughs> out the bag. Um, but yeah, in terms of what Lee goes through in that period, I found a great book of a someone who was addicted to opium. Like you, you know, mm -hmm. just a book there, Tom. Just a book, or just uh, did you go out there? Uh, yeah, yeah. Book, yeah. Book, yeah. Book, yeah. Book, yeah. yeah, Tom, glad, you played strong you enough pretty book, well. You? What was oh, that? Man. Was that Stephanie? Yeah, I said, Tom, you played strung out pretty well. <laughs> I've had a few ales in my time. Um, let's keep it at that. But yeah, in terms of um, um, that, it, it just in terms of you know, diving into the period and diving into people's perspectives, uh, it's it's that's why period stuff is so great to do because you can find real life examples. Well, um, the dog agrees. The dog certainly agrees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's what I tend to do. I tend to focus as much as I can on the real life. Um, examples of people who would have been in a similar position to my character in some way, shape, or form. And then I also read stuff that was, you know, fiction of the time as well to just get, get a picture of what people would have been consuming. And then, uh, and, and, and yeah, the preparation is different for each role in some respects. But, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it tends to be on the set. I try and stay in, you know, accent, what have you. But other, other than that, you know, that's all I did for... For Lee, really, when the hell was that? <laughs> when the hell was that? He's like, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> know that well, Nick's comment about and that last comment is making a lot more sense now if you can't remember when that was from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, God bless yeah. the internet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rebecca strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, speaking of Rebecca, uh, you had a question for the gentleman. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> when you first uh, received the script, uh, this is for for Tom. Mm. Um, the description of Lee, Lee's character. How was it, and how did you read him? Well, at first, the description was relatively simple. I suppose in the stage direction, it was just kind of describing this golden boy who had a real moral compass, who had done some bad things, but for arguably the right reasons. Um, and I just loved all the Southern isms that were there in the script straight away. And I, 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 I just really enjoyed um, his sense of sort of right and wrong, um, which was, you know, in some respects quite skewed. Uh, it, it, I won't, 
I won't spoil anything if anyone hasn't seen the first season. But, um, right. but yeah, just he's... acting will do that, Tom. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nick, you know exactly. You know right when the, I did that little knife right in there, don't you? Um, but yeah, I, he came off the page really, really strongly. I, I don't feel like I had to do much digging or mining at, at, at first to really get to who he was. Um, and really, uh, Jonathan was really. Um, open with me about his his history and the seat and any secrets that he might have from from the off he was really um really detailed uh, which i hugely appreciate i love specifics um when i'm preparing for anything or in anything and he was he was really gave me free reign to fill whatever in whatever i needed to and then uh, gave me some real juicy detail which is very handy, very handy. yeah we hear that a lot about uh about JT, about not only being so detail oriented, but being very open to suggestions from the actors when it comes to their characters, which has got to be a, a blessing. It's such a rare thing. It's such a it's such a rare thing. And I mean, if I was in Jonathan's position, I think I would. I like to think I would do the same thing. Right. Um, but I think it requires a lot of obviously a lot of trust um, and a lot of. Uh, I guess belief in himself to really sift through what he thinks, you know, ideas work and ideas don't. But, but yeah, it's it, it, as showrunners go, he's the best I've ever worked for. Certainly, like he mm. just, it's very open and uh, very uh, like he's, he's he's also very funny. Like he's got a very dry sense of humor. Um, so yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really feel like a showrunner relationship to me, uh, which is really really lucky. Really lucky. Awesome, Frank. Yeah, so this um, question for for both of you, but and also and also for Tom, it's um, with with your characters, you know, playing these San Francisco um, police police officers, you guys kind of, I feel like your characters kind of represent a certain level of racism, or a certain level of oppression at the time of the Chinese population, right? But also, they delve into each of these characters a little bit to where everyone has a little bit of a layer and. I know Tom with with yours they go into a lot you know as, as one of the main characters um with your with your character it seems like he's kind of a guy who really doesn't belong anywhere right like how were you able to kind of what were some challenges that you had that maybe was kind of unique to you because of your character it seems like he's the least likely to be based off of a real person in my mm -hmm. opinion right so what was that like to try like to try to Put, put yourself into creating this person that may or may not really ever exist in real life, or at least it's harder to find? That's a really good question, Frank. Um, in terms of, you know, seeing that he is a fish out of water, because I did recognize that he is, um, it's, you know, it's relatively obvious in some respects, because I mean, he's literally called that by Bill from the off. I think. <laughs> um, but, you know, in, in he finds himself in a in a place that he you know of his own choosing where he has he is making himself a fish out of water further by putting himself in a in an institution which is you know fallible and full of flaws um uh the police department uh, and, and is is trying as much as he can to to change it um so in terms of you know as you say you know finding that kind of person I, I you you're right i struggled to find source material of someone who really fitted fitted that description because mm -hmm. it was just re re really wasn't uh, wasn't there but so what i sort of tried to do there is just look for the um the similarities the differences between myself and and him mm -hmm. um, and i didn't really i didn't really realize it at the time and i do think i don't know if nick agrees but a, a lot a, i do think characters have a weird sort of effect on you sometimes and it's not that you know i i go to daniel day you become a racist you become a racist <laughs> <laughs> that's what happened that's what happened you become a racist <laughs> the racists yeah become the racist. Yeah, flat out racist pal I've seen it. no i'm glad that you're very glad to say that's that's never ever happened. Thank <laughs> God. Come um, straight to the, the, the capital of apartheid, and you become a racist. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that was the, the, the thing the, 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 I, 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 I didn't really think I had that much in common with Lee, but then I suppose in looking at it, there was probably a portion of my life where I, I did, 
I, I was quite forthright in my opinions and I didn't really know when to shut up about them. And I, I drove uh, some people, not maybe not to distraction or maybe I did, I don't know, by being quite um, sanctimonious okay. sometimes. Because uh, I guess with most characters, I always, <laughs> did you say dickish, Nick? No, <laughs> no, 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 you might have heard that. <laughs> it's so difficult. I, I have whenever you make a sound, it was Rebecca. Hear a, a right. slight. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, 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 I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> train of Something thought. about basing your character off of you. Uh, yes, yes, I uh, yes. So I, 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 re I recognized actually that you know every character. You, I, I don't, I don't, I don't ever really like to approach them. I think Nick will agree when you kind of go like, they are a good person, they are a bad person. They can be both, and they can be, they can make mistakes. They can think they're doing one thing when they're doing another. You know, as we all do. Um, and and yeah, with Lee, I think you know, on the one hand, he is probably uh, maybe not the moral center of the show in some respects, but he seems to have the a real sense of what's right and wrong. Mm -hmm. Everyone else in the show is a really interesting shades of gray and, right. and will do good and bad things to almost anybody. But Lee, you like to think that he you know, really toes the line of, of, of doing the right thing at the time. And I, 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 I and that, that's the good side of it. The bad side of it is that he alienates people and doesn't really um, understand how to play the game and how to uh, probably what the greater good is, I suppose, mm. which is what Bill is kind of at and 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 gets at a lot of the time. Um, so I, I never really thought of it uh, myself in those terms. Sometimes when I look back at myself in the past, uh, but I, I can definitely see some of the same irritating um, aspects of Lee's behaviour. <laughs> oh, you can, can you, Tim? <laughs> <laughs> you betcha. You betcha, Nick. You can um, but, 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 well, no, sorry, please, yes. no, I'll pass no, it back. No, I, I, you want it? I, I, I would just like to add to your, and, and it pains me, it pains me to say this. <laughs> but that, 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 the, 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 the Lee character is so much, as you said, the moral compass. And, and it's, those are often the most difficult sort of parts to negotiate. Those are the, the, the parts the, that you want, that are, are so hard to kind of, you know, the, the other parts that are, Sort of have more um, uh, more sort of pyrotechnics that are, are available to you, mm. uh, whereas whereas you ah uh, this hurts, man, Tom, and I'm so sad that you're here, but you do a great job, and and it's it's, it's, pro it's pro to my mind that that's the hardest part. When I read the script the first time, like to play that part, that's that's that 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 takes the the most work, the most effort, because there's not a lot given to you. There's not a lot of, um, it's 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 kind of the good guy, which is hard to kind of you know play with with all the flaws included. Mm. Um, it's it's a tough part to 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 do, um, and I, I I wish someone else did it, but you've got that. <laughs> Nick, Nick, this is some of the best acting I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> and I'm a shit actor, so that makes <laughs> shut up. Shut up! Don't ever say that. But yeah, but but I th but I, I think that yeah, the part is 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 story wise incredibly demanding, and, and you you kill it, man. You're you're amazing at it. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah. Is there a story arc in season three where Harrison and Lee sit down for a beer? That's all I want to know now. That needs. To I be. hope so. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Frank, I hope so. I sincerely hope yeah, so. If there let's, is, let's, I'm let's, phoning let's, JT. Personally. Let's petition for that. Right back with bring Bolo back, have a beer. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that'd be amazing. Let that be the bottle episode. Then, other stuff. Those three just in a bar drink it. Yes. Let that be the bottle episode right there. That is the be amazing. That is next year's bottle episode. That's what I want to see. Next year's bottle episode, I hope, is uh dealing with uh the San Francisco police department. Mm, Instead wow. of the usual suspect, Let, let's see from <laughs> the other side uh, this time around. Now, now, Tom, I know that uh, you're on limited time here, so I, I don't want to okay. keep you. No, thank you. Yeah, I probably can only do another like five, five or so minutes. But okay. I, I was supposed to leave like 
a little while, but this was too much fun. I, I, I appreciate like, it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. You know, I have to wait for next to get it. Us. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I was late. My, my technology is shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't, mate, don't apologize. Don't uh, apologize. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I'll apologize. Well, Not to I you, Tom, but to everyone else. No, Tom, you did You did mention, um, I'll, I'll leave my question here with you and then uh, we, we can go from there. But sure. So you mentioned you're, you're, you're a, bit, uh, a bit of a funny guy on, on set. <laughs> this isn't so much of a question as a, can you maybe talk a little bit about this? How many sausages have you eaten? Four today. <laughs> Four. Four sausages today. Four sausages. I'll eat more another day. <laughs> Sausage man. Yeah, clinically depressed sausage man. They call me sausage man. They're gonna win and I can play. What can you play? I can play the sausage, sausage flute, the sausage recorder, the sausage saxophone, the sausage xylophone, the sausage uh, slide whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Uh, well, before 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 you reply, Tom, uh, let's let's instead, Nick, the floor is yours. <laughs> the floor is yours, sir. Tom. Yeah. Priceless. I know you've had some times <laughs> in your life. Sometimes maybe you want to suck a pretzel. Why would you broadcast that, sir? <laughs> This is the tragic thing, Nick. I, I had nothing to do with broadcasting that. I, I trusted Kieran oh, did you not? I did oh, not broadcast man. it. I trusted Kieran Bue was filming, but I was like, this is probably just going to be for his secret little stash. Um, <laughs> who knows what he does with them? And he sent that out and then told me that in sort of hindsight, like, you met, you, you approved a weird picture of you uh, holding a sausage, so I just assumed this sausage video would be okay. <laughs> Well, hey. he posted as a celebration for the Chinese New Year. Exactly. It was a big post. Oh, shit. Exactly. And it's, oh. Um, wow. I think I ate four or five of those sausages that day. Um, so I was kind of a little bit giddy with the salt. <laughs> <laughs> just, just kind of. Just the salt then, Tom. Just, just salt. the salt. Just the salt. Just the salt. Gonna... I'm gonna go look at that New Year celebration scene the same again. No, <laughs> that's yeah. Okay. But this is the thing. I I, I tend to um, you, you know, I I I do take the job seriously and I do take the scenes seriously. But I I need a sense of play and fun a lot of the time, especially when you're doing something yeah. which is repetitive and and challenging, which that scene was. It was a big long tracking shot. Um, and there was an there was an element of celebration and awe in the air and. I, I, you know, you won't catch me doing that for every scene. Like, for instance, when you know the 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 uh, when the Fung Hai descend on Bill's house, like we certainly weren't messing around as much that day. There was no sausage slide whistles. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Can I say mm. that for me, that Bill scene? I think all of us collectively agree that uh, season two, episode nine, is by far our favorite episode, just for oh, wow. the most mind blowing. Yeah, but that scene where the Fung Hai come to Bill's house mm. is the most intense five minutes of the entire series, in, mm. for my money at least. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. loved filming that um, uh, so much, um, and and uh, like Kieran and I had it. You know, it's not fun <laughs> in some respects, but there's an element of catharsis and fun in it uh, uh, when you when you're when you know things are going relatively well. And the stunt team were just like they were just on fire. Like some sometimes, mm. like it, you Whoa. know, look at look at those guys. Look at all of them. Beautiful. Um, and I, yeah, I mean, I've worked with I've done quite a lot of stunts, and I really bond with stunt teams whenever I work with them. And this show is no exception. They like they work so insanely hard um and i can't I do, I, yeah I, I can't wait to get back and and do do our morning kind of rituals with them it's going to be it's going to be great it's going to be really and really great this scene is specifically on bill's house was one shot scene the whole choreography all was made 
It was so yeah. The, the master shot was um, was I believe one tracking shot from the very center of the house, and they removed a wall to be able to film it. But there were other pieces because it was like you're you're right, Deuce. It was like a it was a five minute sequence. It was a huge fight, and it, but mm -hmm. what was so great about it? What, what sort of I think made it feel slightly different to other sequences was was in this was in this cramped family space surrounded by obviously loads of family items so it felt more threatening but just really super claustrophobic um so yeah i was really impressed when i when i watched it back that, that uh, david petraka the director and all the stunt guys um like brett everybody had made such an intense piece i needed this cold shower after i watched it <laughs> mm. yeah. 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 <laughs> i think those scenes that that involve characters that don't usually take part in action always kind of have me more on the edge of my seat. Like if you watch in the show, if you watch a duel between let's say Assam and uh, Lee Young, yeah, it's, it's high stakes, it's high action, right? But it's like, but when it's like the the kid characters are there, or when um um Emily Emily's in the in the in the, in the scene where she, you know she doesn't do too much action, I'm like, ooh, it's like everything feels from a viewer standpoint, just everything just feels more unpredictable. There's more threat, big threat. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, totally. The, st the stakes felt very high as soon as we started um, filming that scene. Um, and yeah, seeing Emily at the end, she was covered head to toe in blood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> covered. And she was great. So, so, so good in that scene. Um, she really wonderful actor. Um, Nick, however, uh, <laughs> we'll get up yes. another time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Jim? What's up? Um, <laughs> oh, no. yeah. I'm, going down, I'm going down the alphabet. You don't because... even have a anymore. <laughs> you guys see how badly with... he bullies me? I mean, you, guys, you guys can see this, right? Well, I mean, he's playing it's, the it's, part. It's recorded. He's, he has yeah, a method. <laughs> he is a method actor. Yeah, um, exactly. Thank you, Zeus. Thank you very much. Yeah, I got you, brother. I got you. Uh, um, what about, yeah. Speaking of being a method actor, now you get into... Uh, it, I just spoke about it, season two, episode nine. This is this is a big action sequence for you as well. What is it like with so much organized chaos? Because I don't think fans or anyone who's not in the business understand what goes into a huge fight. Never mind, like just a fight scene with one on one or maybe two people. You've got a crowd and two mobs going at it. What was that like for you? Um. Again, Zeus. I mean, I, I am I am so sort of uh, limited in my experience and sort of uh, skills. Um, it was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing because I got they gave me a gun and um, Lonnie was directing, I think, and it was just yeah, you just get to shoot a gun and they the stunt guys are so incredible and everyone around you is just it's 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 kind of a dream. It's 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 come true. You know, you kind of. As, I mean, not that shooting guns is, is, is a dream come true, but it is fun. <laughs> you don't want to shoot people, but it is right. fun to kind of, kind of you know, and, and everyone was, is so particular and specific. And and however, within that, the, 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 the freedom around uh, those specifics is incredible. So you can make choices. Um, and, and those, those sort of offerings are um, welcomed, which is, which is great. And it was, yeah, it was, it was amazing. And then, I mean, there was a, there's a drone shot that kind of picks up the the sort of the last of the fight, and it's just right. yeah, it's just amazing how uh, everyone is so and, and Tom kind of Tim is it is it Tom? I don't I, I, I you know what, at this point in time um, I don't even know either. I don't <laughs> yeah, it's hard to I don't know. Um, he touched on it earlier um, the Welshman. Um, he, yeah, um, it, it's that everyone that explains so, everything. That explains yeah, it all. It's that everyone is so involved and so committed, and 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 everyone is so available. That it was yeah, it was an absolute like yeah, a blast. Just a total dream to come to work, you know, to have work. And yeah, it was amazing. Uh, same question, Tom. Yeah, I mean, in terms of the the level of commitment and just the the, the stunt work. Like the, it, it, when we filmed the this the um, Bill's house, for instance, that I think that scene took three night shoots to complete, oh, um, which is you know split split evenings where you start filming at like eight in the morning and then finish at six a.m. Um, <clears throat> and they you know 
I think at that point in time as well, we were doing uh, double banking, which is where you film film four episodes at once, so you could be oh, jumping around. Yep. And it's just it's it's really really chaotic, but you know, the, 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 I I always feel um, reticent to sort of talk about how tired I am and how exhausting it is because I'm lucky enough to come in and come out and go home and you know be taken care of in certain respects because you know actors do get treated you know pretty well the job's tiring but the and the hours are long mm. but um but the crew are the ones that are there from the beginning to the end and the effort that I you know see and feel when I'm there just gets me through every time because there's just so much commitment and blood, sweat, and tears. No, oh, hopefully not our blood, real blood, <laughs> fake blood. But um, but not yeah. working hard enough. I'm not working hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> not quite method enough. Not quite method enough, am I? Um, but yeah, the, the, that, that's the thing that I always take away from it. I come, I come away from every every stunt that I think I had on Warrior. I came away just feeling very exhilarated and, you know, a sense of. Um, it's just an achievement like it's the most collaborative process making a TV show or a film or anything it's such a collaborative art that you um, you really need the team to be functioning and with a stunt that's just you know the the the, the I suppose if that that process feels more dangerous so when you get it right it just feels like the best thing to uh, to have achieved so yeah I just can't wait to be out there doing it again Love it. Mm. Actually, I have a quick question. Sure. What were each of your reactions when you found out that season three was going to happen? Because we, you know, we got the video. I mean, we've seen plenty of clip, you know, that clip. But what was going through your each of your minds? I mean, because you, you, you pretty much written it off. You, you're going to move on. What went through your minds when you heard that it was really going to happen? Gen genuinely, I just, I was just like. Bullshit! <laughs> I was like, no way! There's no chance. <laughs> Bullshit! I'm calling it. I'm calling it. And then uh, so slowly, I realised what a um, cynical piece of shit I am. And, uh, yes, good. Thank you, Tom. At last. Nick, Nick made me see the error of my ways. I, uh, <laughs> I opened my eyes. What about well, you? Yeah. And b both of you, uh, who did you find in other jobs in South Africa, like Stuart Williamson with Tom? I think it was before Warrior. Was it in Troy? Yes, I was. I filmed Troy over there. Yeah, I um, I, I like I love Cape Town. Um, it's a very I'd never been I'd never been there before, but it seems to be sort of a home away from home now. Um, hates you. Cape Town hates you, Tom. Hates me. It just hates yep. the place. It hates um, you. You when you arrive, as, you, as that plane arrives, it's like, oh, fucking Western Jones oh, is here. He's here. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, if you, Nick, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be there in no time flat. Oh, so happy. Oh, <laughs> I can see how happy Nick is. I now, can't wait, man. Giddy, very giddy. Um, Tom, I do have to ask you though, were, were you ever worried that uh, this handsome face right here might have stolen your job? Oh, oh look at that guy! Wow, oh, Nick, those are those are very those are lies. Those are, <laughs> lies. Those are lies. That is from yeah. You heard of Doctor Strange of the Multiverse of Madness? This is from Warrior the Multiverse of Madness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Have you worked with Langley before, Nick? Uh, besides I Warrior. Uh, I've not worked uh, with him, but he's a friend of mine, and he used to. We used to have a theatre company in Cape Town, and he um, he worked very closely with my sister and my brother-in-law uh, in a beautiful play called Blasted by Sarah Kane, um, and that's how he looks now. He's in bad shape. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, that's the recent photograph. Well. He's, Jesus. He does Iron, he does Iron Man, and that's what happens when you do that. You, <laughs> yeah. you grow a beard and you end up like that. But um, but he's he's been a, a very kind uh, friend, and, and and yeah, and I've worked with him on a sort of on the same shows, but never in the same scenes necessarily. Um, but he's yeah, as I say, he, he worked in the, in the theatre company with us, and yeah, he's all kind of he's kind of wonderful. Which is yeah, and and it's great to see that you know to be with him on set is 
is incredible. Well, you know what, Nick, I'm going to do you uh, a huge favor here. And I'm Please, going to thank I need them. Tom so much for being here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Away. Really quick. We, we have to officially do this the right way. Oh, that's right. Let me digitally in, uh, brand him into the hop this way, Tong. He passed. Congratulations. Yay. To his plan. Yay. Don't wait, worry, I, Nick. You're going to get yours later in the I show. Was, I was just about I, to I, say, is Nick a member already? Because I'm no. now questioning. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. He's later in the show where I got to put him through the trial. So, so okay. we'll see if he makes it. We'll see. If as long as you it. crush his spirit, then that's oh, right. I, I got you. Listen, this is a chat feature. And, you know, I have a feeling these two are talking shit to each other over here. I'm just, I'm just imagining this because I can't look away because, you know, we're hosting. But I'm just imagining the shit talking between these two. <laughs> no, they're, they're being it's great. It's I'm loving great. hanging out with you two. <laughs> I do know that Tom does have to go, though. Um, I, I just uh, would be remiss if I didn't uh, thank you. I know you don't do this a lot, and uh, this is uh, out of your wheelhouse, if you will, but uh, you did great, uh, and with Nick even there, Razzie, the entire time. Yeah, we'll go through Hold it. on. It's a miracle. <laughs> Uh, but thanks. Is there anything you want to tell anybody before we leave? Uh, anywhere where they could follow you, not on social media? <laughs> uh, in person? No, definitely. No, please don't. Yeah. In, yeah, I, I don't really have uh -oh. social media. Oh, Fred! Oh, 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 oh. There he is. There he is. We told you he'd be here. You <laughs> sexy bastard. <laughs> I can say the same about you. Look at you, you stone cold hunk. <laughs> right. <laughs> I forget he's he can't pr he probably can't uh, respond live so well, um, right well he'll put comments up he's probably getting sick of seeing this same picture I always he probably, is. He probably <laughs> is but Brett I love you and I miss you and I can't wait to see you in Cape Town it's gonna be great awesome yeah. um, again uh, Tom Weston Jones you are absolutely the man uh, thank you so much for being a part of our Kong. Thank you for putting up with us, and uh, yes. thank you so much for uh, season three. As uh, Brett says, get ready. Hey, get ready. Sir. I will. I'll, I will try. I will try to run off this uh, COVID-based um, body that I have. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for having me on. It's been, you know, really, really nice to just talk about the show again, to get excited about it. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'm going to apologize on behalf of Nick because you know he's not the ah! so. He, he is sorry for everything that he's done, and he's sorry for being <laughs> Oh, we're going to torture him once you're gone, Tom. Don't you worry. Good. Amazing. Um, thanks again for joining I us, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I love you, too. Tom, yeah. Tom, before you go, before you go, Tom, sorry, I might, uh, could I remind you who the world rugby champions are just oh. as you leave? Uh-oh. Oh, yes. Just a, yeah, there you go. So this is, this is nice my show, guys. Me, me and Nick are quite uh, avid rugby fans. And um, Nick has sent me a text message every day, every day, reminding me that South Africa are the current holders of the World Cup. And now <laughs> Wales are in the pr probably the worst phase that they've had in years. So um, just so you know that, that's the kind of guy that you're dealing with, okay? <laughs> well, at least someone loves you, Tom. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> at least does. Uh, again, uh, big thanks to Tom Wesson Jones. Officer Lee from Warrior joining us. Uh, big thanks. And uh, make sure, folks, you go out and you watch season three when it drops. And if there's another opportunity, Tom, you know you always have a spot here in our time. Thank you. Well, I'll definitely come back. It's been great fun. Thank you. Thanks to all of you. It was lovely to meet you. Amazing. Uh, thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Everybody, Tom Weston Jones. Tom Weston Jones. What a great job that was. Uh, and Nick I, is killing me. And Nick, Nick is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> I know Dude, now. I mean, you're, you're, you're killing me here. I absolutely love it. Um, is it like this a lot on on set for you? Uh, yeah, which is which is amazing. Um, which is very uh, rare. It's a it's a very rare thing where, as I said earlier, um, to have a, a company of actors that are sort of on the same kind of page and the same. Um, it's not a great word, but a wavelength. Um, so Hoon and Kieran and, and Tom, who are the sort of actors that I kind of hang And there's a, an actor from Johannesburg, uh, Rob Hobbs, who plays uh, Stone. Right. He's also, yeah, he's, he's fantastic. Um, and, and it's great to have that. And Emily, who's a dear friend of mine, 
um uh it's it's just it's it's it it is a unique uh environment and it's it's wonderful and that's credit to to everyone from you know from the producers from to directors to to everyone and and, and i don't know if tom mentioned this but the what's incredible is that uh sort of daily there's a training session uh with the stunt guys with um you know brett and, and, and he runs this yeah these incredible men and women and and we're welcome to that which is so rare it's such a it's a strange not strange but it, it's an anomaly where th this whole there's a company um feel uh, which is uh, to the i've only experienced in the theater uh and it's 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 unbelievable and brett's so welcoming you know you just kind of turn up and it's yeah it's it's a kind of a dream and i know that's that's such a sort of cliched thing to say but it really is it's 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 the best job i've ever had and it's the reason why we point it out so often is we hear every actor that we have on here actor actress say the same thing about how tight knit this is and how it's unlike any other show they've been on before i i wonder how much of that is due to you know um the, the variety in the actors. You have actors from South Africa, from Wales, uh, Scotland, Ireland, Canada, even, right? So I wonder if that, yeah. if that hodgepodge has anything to do with that in your mind. I, I think it does. I mean, I think what, what's what's great about it is um, uh, in, in my experience around other sort of shows, uh, there's, there's a lot of ego, there's sort of, there's the, uh, a sense of, uh, hierarchy, whereas in this show, there's absolutely none of that, which is which is so incredible. Like, no, there's no preferential treatment. Uh, every, everyone's kind of going towards the same thing, which is very uh, unusual. Um, and yeah, for like like JT and Brad and and everyone are just so uh, you know collaborative. And 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 as Tom said earlier, you can you know there's if a scene's going one way that maybe doesn't fit there's there's the option to sort of make suggestion and make um choices to better the story and that's that's incredibly uh rare and it's that's that's why it's so amazing and that's why i feel so incredibly fortunate to be here except that tom is on it obviously i mean that's, right. <laughs> right. Well, man. What that's do you a do? That's massive that's a massive fuck up <laughs> i mean who 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 honestly cheers for any welsh teams well, this is the thing. Yes, right. You're right. Okay, come on. Right. Um, I mean, yeah. I'm sorry. I have to say this anytime anyone mentions uh, the Welsh. My grandfather told this horrible Welsh joke. Um, my last name's Fleming. So, uh, right, right. <laughs> so, uh, Not my grandfather, fault, I know. I, I look it, don't I? Um, <laughs> my grandfather used to always say, I, I'd be like, well, because like, I, I didn't work from Canada. I'm like, I, I didn't know what Welsh was. And I'm like, How, what is a Welshman? And he was like, to get a Welshman, what you do is you got to take all the machismo and all the toughness of a Scotsman. Then you take all the humor and, you know, the sex appeal of an Irishman. And whatever's left over, that's your Welsh. Oh. <laughs> Damn. I had to wait till Tom was gone till I said that joke. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Tom. Please come back. <laughs> so if we don't I get back on the show, I know, I know exactly who to blame. <laughs> that you and that bum ass joke. <laughs> every time. Every time. <laughs> but Nick's reaction tells me that it's an accurate joke. It's not. Yeah, that's not. That's not far off. Well, specifically to Tom. <laughs> right. Specifically to Tom. Uh, now, Rebecca, uh, did you have a question for Nick as well? Yeah. Uh, have you uh, you were born in South Africa, or are you English? No, I'm, I'm South African. I grew up in in Johannesburg. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you done um, work on on stage, on theater? You have said. Mostly that that's where I kind of started was theater um, and uh, yeah, I've, I've been lucky enough to kind of work a little bit in film, a little bit of uh, um, uh, TV stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and in fact, I grew up in the same city as Emily. Emily and I were are very oh. kind of, yeah, both Johannesburg <laughs> born yeah. and bred. Yeah. And season um, one, she was doing a, a play with Warriors yes. together. <laughs> Yeah, she was. She she works all the time, and she's kind of one of. I'm glad she's not on here because she's. 
<laughs> no, no, she's she's kind of the best actor in this in this country. She's uh, amazing. Wow. Um, Book yeah, writer. She's a she's a uh, yeah exactly. She writes books. She's an actor, a director. She's yeah. It's 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 embarrassing. Wow. It's a, <laughs> I mean that's how be I around finish. her. <laughs> yeah, she's all kinds of wonderful. Um, so yeah, it's it's kind of belittling being around her. I'm, I'm, in fact, you know what? No, I'm not going to be a friend anymore. <laughs> well, here's the headline. Based on that question, Rebecca. Based solely on that question, she's out. <laughs> <laughs> and and based solely on your question, Rebecca, we have now got the new headline that we can send to TMZ that says Nick says that Emily is a better actress than Charlize Theron. <laughs> <laughs> did. I I I would endorse that. I would I mean, say that is her acting. She's got I like she's, we've only been privy to her in Warrior, but she's been amazing on Warrior for sure. Yeah. She's she I mean uh, not no not I don't want to, you know, indict anyone or, or say anything bad about Charlize, but Emily's maybe better. <laughs> And Definitely like, better. Definitely yeah. a better actor. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely a better actor. Sorry, Charlize, if you're watching. If you're not. Charlize. She's well, she's probably watching. She watches a lot. Yeah. Well, if she is, then then she's got some she's got some competition. <laughs> Massive competition. Yeah. I love it. All right. So uh up next though, we've got the master himself, Frank Jean. Uh you got a question for Nick? Yeah, Nick. Um yeah, with, with the what you were saying, you were saying earlier about how you know open and <clears throat> open and inviting everyone on the show is, and how there's there's more there's not so much of a hierarchical uh, setting like like a lot of, a lot of places where folks might work. Um, but how does that affect? Um, can you tell a little bit about how that affects your preparation for your character? Because and the reason I say that is because well, part of the reason I say this we talked about it before is there's no there's no throwaway characters in this show, right? Everyone has a little depth to them. Or everyone has the potential to have a story, a part of the story about themselves. Like, how have you, how have you thought about uh, your character in, in that way? Like, what do you think of his potential future arc, with when it comes to season three and beyond that? I like that. Like, oh, Frank, well, obviously, um, my character becomes the chief of police. You know? oh, okay, yeah, there we go. There you go. And then the mayor, obviously. Right. <laughs> right. I, kill, I kill Langley. I kill Langley, and I become the mayor. Mm. You become the you become the hero. So call, JT. <laughs> call JT right um, now. Make this happen. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Harrison's the no, hero. I, mean, I don't. I don't. I don't. Um, that, that, that great question, Frank. I mean, I don't. I don't feel as though, in terms of the story, I, I feel as though it's more of a definitely a, a, a supporting uh, sort of role in the character. So I, I um, as much as I can, I just try and kind of tuck in behind uh, Kieran and Tom and, 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 and Rob and just kind of make sure that whatever the story that, that they are driving um, that I can augment in, in, in as best way I can. Um, Cause I, I don't feel as though there's uh, that I'm kind of uh, impacting too much. Uh, you know, I, yes. yeah. Yeah. I, I, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I feel as I, I feel that what, what I love is, and it sounds incredibly altruistic, which I'm not. I'm not an altruistic <laughs> person. At all. I'm a total cunt. Um, but um, <laughs> I feel as though, like, I would like to, I'd like as much as possible to 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 provide support for Kieran and for Tom because I think those characters are so sort of uh, developed and and full. And as you say, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't feel as though any of the other characters are um, neglected, and I think they're all incredibly full. And in um, but in my, I would like very much to kind of fill whatever, and there aren't gaps because the writing is so very good. Uh, but fill up whatever uh, support that they need, if that makes mm -hmm. any sense. Mm -hmm. as, as I kind of babble away here. <laughs> Bill and Lee oh, probably we won't talk on season three. They split. So yeah, you maybe Chantel helps, mm -hmm. you know, revising. Giant <laughs> Town Squad is one person smaller. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
And I, I, I'm, just going, I'm not going anywhere near Tom. I'm just, you know, if, if I had to give a choice, I'm going Kieran. <laughs> Great. Uh, Steph, uh, you're up next. What do you, what do you got for Nick? Well, you're actually, Nick, you touched on it as far as, you know, season three bringing, you know, again, production back to South Africa. So oh, what... I lost you there for a few ticks. Oh, um, you know, you mentioned that, you know, season three is bringing, obviously, oh, no. some... Oh, you're still there. Am I there? I'm Can here, you... I'm here, but I lost there. a lot of... <laughs> oh, no worries. Sorry, can you repeat that, Steph? Sorry, I, I lost you there. Just um, the impact maybe that you could, I mean, it's hard, kind of hard to, you know, measure, but do you, what impact do you really see on this amount of business coming to Cape Town and the production sorry, coming back in season three? Can you repeat that? I'm so sorry, I lost everything oh, there. No. Yeah, because you're probably just buffering because you're all candlelit and all intimate over there with your wine. Exactly. I know, right? <laughs> I feel like you're going to shoot flames out of your hands. Oh, I, I wish. I wish, Frank. I wish. I don't have that capability. The one sorry. Me, I'll take that. I'm so sorry. Uh, just really how meaningful it is to have another season produced there. You know, like how, what, I mean, it's probably hard to measure as, you know, as the actor, but the impact of having this production come back to South Africa and specifically to Cape Town, can you tell me what it feels like and anything particular that you really notice as far as an impact? It's made by HBO, HBO Max now. It's <laughs> probably bigger. Mm. Uh it's I, I again as I'm a tiny little cog in this massive thing. It's it's amazing. It's 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 kind of uh, incredible. It's it's, it's um, yeah, it's unbelievable. Um, did that answer your question, there, Steph? Because well, I mean, it's a benefit <laughs> really, you know, your hometown. You know, like your your homeland to have another large production financially benefit. You know your you know that um, location. And bring business in. Yeah, it, it, it will absolutely, which is which is incredible. I, I um, again, I, I don't know what the sort of logistics are necessarily, but yeah, it's it's great to have um, people kind of working again, and, and it's great to sort of for the for the city and and also because I think that I mean Tom again, who's far wiser than I am, touched on it like the um, the the crews here are amazing and the and the uh, uh, the, the kind of the the stuff you don't see uh, is incredible here. Uh, the crew, uh, the 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 art departments, all these kinds of things that are getting opportunities, which is which is you know amazing, especially coming out of this awful thing that we've all had to kind of deal with. Yeah, because um, before season one, they made an open audition for Asian people because you don't have too many there. They this is it, brought yeah. people from Johannesburg. And so now probably they have the contacts with the agencies, but um, maybe it's uh, like it, it um, movement the, the market around. Whoa, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Brett Chen, you have an open invitation on this show. All the time. <laughs> you know Brett, get on the show. I also want you. And Brett's like, I'm in Toronto. Oh, uh, well, where? There is no excuse now. Brett, you are Brett, coming on the show. Yeah, Brett, you are saying... an hour and a half from where I am right now. I am in Fort Erie, Ontario. So, literally, let's go grab drinks later. Brett, <laughs> sort it out, man. Sort it out, Brett. Come on. Right? Like, what are we talking about? Come here? on. Um, that, and they did talk a, a, a little bit uh, about Rebecca is blocking me from the show. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he's got oh, eat. man. He's got eat with your friend. Yeah, because I have this power. <laughs> she put you on the block list. Holy shit. Yeah, well, that's what happens. That's what happens. Um, before we get too far, Nick, you know, this is our tongue here. You saw Tom got initiated into our tongue. Um, it is a grueling, grueling process to go through. Um, I'm scared. You got should the red, be. Got the red ready. I'm putting you in the hands of money, Matt Chua. That's right. I went back to money. I'm sorry, Matt. Chua America himself. Tis I and I am him. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, if you are ready, uh, Matt, why don't you give him the rundown on how Tom Trivia works? Oh, absolutely. Your life hangs in my <laughs> hands at the moment. Jesus, so, Matt. I'm terrified, man. As well, Let's you should up. be. I am terrified by candlelight. 
As w- hey, kind of like terrifying. <laughs> well, them shits is gonna blow the fuck out. You better pour <laughs> yourself another no, glass. No, no, you about to go to I'm town. Better. It's about to be a wrap. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> on a serious note, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and once was- it is all done, right? We will yeah. digitally brand you into our tongue, and you will become one. Of us, us. so I hope so. Of us. Nick, but if I failed, then I die, and then you're gonna you send are some people fucked, after me. buddy. Yes. I'll tell yes. you, <laughs> bread after you, and you said bread, bread, bread's gonna come to come to my house and fuck me up. Yes, yes. <laughs> I he personally have his DM ready to go to oh, send shit. the shot. So, fuck, Brett. Sorry, I'm you're gonna have to come to Africa. I know it's a long flight, but off you go. Nicholas Pauling, are you ready for Tong trivia? I'm not. I'm not. But, I mean, I I suppose I have no choice. You don't. So here we go. All right. Are you ready? Let's go. Superpower you would want to have, and would you use it as a hero or villain? Superpower. Okay. Okay. Shit. Uh, I've got it. I've got it. It's not even a superpower. If I could make my finger mm-hmm. the oh, shape no. of a key oh. that could get into Tom's house <laughs> as a villain and punch him in the dick. <laughs> that's it. That's my superpower. I, oh my god, he's in. He that, doesn't even need more questions. That might be to Tom's house. Punch in dick. That's it. That's what that I need. That is the best answer. Key ever. finger dick punch. Key finger dick punch. Key finger dick punch. The KFD. The KFD. The KFD. That's it, Zeus. The KFD. So it's not really a punch. It's more like a key finger dick punch. I don't punch. know what that is. It's no, this so is the punch. Like, you know. Frank, here's the punch. Here's the key. Here's the one inch punch. Like the one inch punch. That's, a, sh- that's a new shocker. That's a new level shocker. Oh, new shocker. Oh, KFDP. I mean, it's the KFDP, yeah. man. KFDP. KFDP. That's what it is. Yeah. He's like, I'm coming in, I'm knocking out. There you go. That's not it's all the tagged right the there. Rails. Yeah. Fuck it. Here we That's go. It. All right. Next question. <laughs> Name your biggest pet peeve. Tom Weston Jones. All right. <laughs> That's easy. Oh, that is- That's an easy one. Right, That's Tom Weston Jones. Perfect. Uh question. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> question three. <laughs> Who would narrate your life? Oh boy, not Tom Weston Jones. I'll tell you who would Brian Cox if he's not too busy. No, 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 no. I lied. If Stephen Graham wasn't too busy, I'd ask him very politely to narrate my life. Ooh, Stephen, very Graham. nice. I like it. Uh, Stephen next Graham. app on your phone, you are always on. Fuck you, Tom Weston Jones app. It's available on Apple. Uh, is, there, is there any way to export his head on the app? It's like a video game or something. Oh, sh- I can't. oh man, this is this is fucking great. Wow. All right, here we go. Wow. A a fuck a chore around the house you hate doing. Um, chore around the house. Many of them. Um, a chore around the house I hate doing. I would have to say. Sometimes when I'm a little tired, I'll do a shit in the kitchen. Cleaning up that shit is a problem for me. <laughs> what? What just Sometimes I shit my pants and clean that up my yes, is, 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 is an issue. That's that's a chore that you know I'd rather my daughter did. Fuck. You know, but at least he does clean it up. Yeah. yeah. Listen, I mean, I'll get to it up. eventually. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It's, 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 it's a Wednesday night, and I have to be there on a Friday afternoon to get that cleaned up. I'll do it. I mean, if you let it sit long enough, it can become like new a new piece of furniture, right. a this is weight, it. something. This is my thinking, not at last, at last, someone is on the same. I got moment. you, I um, got you. I understand, it, man. And for those of the, for for any fans that were watching that aren't familiar with who uh, Stephen Graham is, because we are mostly in North America here, uh, I had to look it up, and I love this guy too. Uh, I remember him from Snatch. He's but, kind uh, of the best actor of his generation. He's, oh, he's dope. he was in uh, the most recent Venom movie as well. 
So. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no, I know, I know. We don't hold it. He was one of the good parts. He was oh, a good, top good. snatch, right? He was top. He's, 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 he's amazing. He's, he's, yeah. he's this, this is a series. Yeah, I don't probably. know if you guys have seen it. Virtues. He's amazing in, in the virtues. He's oh. incredible. Have not, mm. but uh, I'm definitely going to be checking him out now. Um, all right. Next, Matt. Here we go. Favorite childhood memory. Kicking Tom watching in the dick. Cool. <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah, exactly. Kicking Tom. Uh, I wish that's a, that's a favorite sort of retro wish. Memory. <laughs> okay. What I have is kicking Tom in the dick, but I don't. I, I didn't know him. That's when I was a kid. And I, I, as a 21 year old, um, I just uh, it's it's you know it's it's not too far. A childhood memory. Uh, I was, uh, I played a duck on stage when I was nine years old, and that was fun. Matt, oh, oh, awesome. that. awesome. you go. I like that. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Quack, yeah. quack, 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 and he quack, They're quack, mighty, mighty ducks. <laughs> fucking mighty ducks. Exactly. Not, it wasn't that mighty, Zeus. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> It was shitey, if anything. <laughs> it's lovely. All right. We don't have this in Brazil, you know, in schools. We don't have this. Uh, we don't make plays as you kids. Plays? So it's, not, it's not like what? a part of the schedule. Uh, I love that you have that. There's no theater? Yeah, it's no theater in Brazil? There is, but it's, it's like professional. You don't do this on school. You know, it's not like... How do, how do you become oh. a professional without... You have to... Doing well, an amateur before private, <laughs> private school. Not like <laughs> exactly. You have to go to private schools and you have to know that you want to do this. Uh, you don't okay. discover as a kid like doing a school play. So gotcha. they missed my talent if I had that. Is that the oh, first? Wow. I think that's the first time we've ever seen Rebecca flex on this show, too. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the first. I like it. All right. I missed it. <laughs> They, they held effect. me down. It's Nick's effect on the show. He has to come yes, um, more often. <laughs> it's all Nick's fault. Uh, Matt, you That's got more for the either. dog trivia there? Oh, of course. Here we go. Um, who would you want to play you in a film or series about your life? But again, I know, I know I'm repeating. I'm going Stephen Graham. Stephen okay. Graham mm. or Tom Weston Jones's kid Rudy. Just to piss Tom off. <laughs> Cost, he has to play. You phone up Tom and you say, listen, your boy, and his, Tom, his boy's name's Rudy. He's got this beautiful young kid. And you phone him up. You go, hey, Tom, how's it going? Listen, um, I understand that your, your son is becoming an engineer. He's been contracted to play Nicholas in his autobiography. All right? Cool. That would be, that would be brilliant. <laughs> I love it. This and I'd love to phone Tom after and go, hey, buddy, I understand your kid's got a job. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shots all the, the way fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. Here we go. Um, if you could pick a person to sit down with, either living or dead, wh how, who would you pick there? Whose brain would you pick? Do I sort of actually pick the brain, Matt? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, you could actually pick their brain, but no, no. Kind no, of like, I don't want know, to do really... that. No, I, have, I don't have the skills. Yeah, yeah. No, I, no. I, you know what? Tim Roth. <laughs> Tim Roth is who I'd like to sit down with. Oh, Ooh, yeah. that's a good one. Very good. I'd love good. to sit down with Tim Roth. I like, I like that one. Well. Um, A character on a current film or television series that you would want to play. Oh, wow. I, I would be... I wouldn't be able to do it I would love to be able to try, but it would never be anywhere as good as uh, Kieran Culkin in Succession um, oh. playing, uh, oh, what's the name? Uh, I can't remember the character's name, but he plays, uh, you've seen Succession? Yeah, with Brian Cox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He plays, oh God, what is his name? Uh, uh, Ro Romulus. He plays Roman. He plays Roman uh, Roy. Right. Hmm. That would be... Yeah, he's he's damn, he's good. He's good, and it's he's a great so character. Good, and so good. They're all so good. They're all fantastic. Um, she was great. Yeah, it's so good, man. So good. And, but and he, I started seeing him a lot. Like where I thought he really got good was uh, the first time I noticed him was Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, 
Like I seen him in Home Alone, where he played the younger brother of uh, Macaulay Culkin. Oh, McCool. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah where he, he the one that pees the pants or whatever. But yeah, in Scott Pilgrim, he was fucking brilliant. Just, yeah, man. He kind of he, he's he's kind of fantastic. And then I mean, um, Matt McFadden, uh, Matthew McFadden is. Is it Matthew? Yeah, it is Matthew McFadden. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as Tom in in Succession is is also kind of uh, unbelievable. Obviously, and then uh, I'd like to play Tom Weston Jones as Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't? After you, who wouldn't Matt key you into know? his house and punch him in? The I head. mean, who doesn't want to play this dreamy guy? Exactly <laughs> that little. Look at that dream boat. Look at that with his pants all up over his belly button. <laughs> his <active face> on. <laughs> It's like I didn't do the app work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the final yeah. two. The final two. Here we go. You are almost Whoa, there. Okay. Name three positive things about yourself. Uh -oh. I don't have eczema. <laughs> okay. Uh, I um I only have one first language. And because some people can speak more than one language, it's really weird. No, but I just, only, I just got everyone one. has only one first, though. You can't have yes. more than one first. Yes, Zeus, Don't interrupt him, Zeus. I want to hear one, him. You can speak more than one language, but you can't have more than one first language. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. No, okay, 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 okay. This is his okay, initiation. Okay. Let him do what he wants. Well, I don't have the eczema. I think Frank has I have... two first languages. No, no one. Who? Uh, depends on how old you go. Chinese and America, he, he learned at the same time. He has two first languages. <laughs> no, there we go. Thank you. I have one first language. You need. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So that's a cosign. That's two. That's two, Matt. And, and what's the third? Final third. I'm not ashamed to pee sitting down. <laughs> Bomb. Look at that. You shit. know what? I will sit down and pee. Because yeah. sometimes, sometimes you, need you just to. don't want to. Sometimes, Sometimes I don't want to stand. Sometimes yeah. you just don't want to. And I'll sit it. in the urinal as well. I will sit in the urinal. <laughs> urinal. <laughs> because you know what? It's it's actually purpose built for that very. It's got the scoop. Everything's covered, and you're in the urinal and just sitting there. And in order to flush, to flush, you just flex your butt. You just lean back, bang. Flush. And guess what? Everything gets clean. In that flush, everything's clean. <laughs> This is the most oh, yeah. innovative fucking brain I've you ever deep go with. I mean, oh, go to Japan. They have these kind of things. This is let's great. let's please have this uh, oh, Harrison in, in the bar scene. Let's please have this Harrison in the bar scene. Oh, I mean, with, they, with, Scott, with with Lee with with uh, Bill with whoever. Oh my <laughs> fucking god! And and I don't even know how to top that. I, and I, finally, I, your finally, final yes. your final question. If you had a theme song every time you oh, walked boy. into a room, what song would play? Okay, this is this is this is this is now this is a serious question. Mm. This is this is I mean I could give you some snide remark like, oh yeah, happy birthday. No one needs that. <laughs> <laughs> I am going, I'm going Arctic Monkeys Brian Storm. Ooh. Because it's the best they're the best band in the world. And if Ooh. anyone has a problem with that, then I will. I mean, then they have a problem with it. That's nothing I can do with it. <laughs> you know, then they have a problem. So cool. Well, Nick, uh, on that note, you have uh, officially you, ran the gamut of questions that I have asked. What? Wait, are I you need, not? I want to add one to your trivia. Oh, you want to add one? Oh, oh, oh I just want to add one. This is this is this is the determinant factor because you gave us so many great answers, but that bathroom one got me going a little bit. No pun intended. Okay. <laughs> Nick, I need to know because I figure you're the only person in the world that'll know this answer. Mm. How do they use the three shells in Demolition <laughs> Man? Oof. Uh, yeah. I mean, I I seen Demolition Man and I, I, the three shells. Listen, if I was put to that into that scenario, uh, I'm just I'm just I'm just shitting and running. <laughs> I'm, I'm just shitting. I'm running. And, and the three shells will stay, stay <laughs> right, right where they are. Right where they are, I'm out of there. I'm, I'm shitting in that little pot, and I'm fucking off. <laughs> because I can. Because I can. I'm out of there. 
I, love I mean, it. after that, after the entire gamut of questions being ran through, after the bonus question and passing everything with flying fucking colors, Nick, you are officially digitally branded into the hop this way tong congratulations oh, sir yeah. Yeah. i will drink to that cheers to you thank Fuck you yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Well, don't worry we're gonna oh, put you know, separately it's... from tom two separate groups of the tom you know tom and you same tom but different groups okay i felt bad yes. we're drinking sorry. alone so I figured... get it Oh, what? what you got there, Zeus? What is that? Canadian special. Uh, these are called social lights. Yes, we're looking for sponsors. Um, <laughs> yeah, vodka, That's amazing. Vodka uh, field strawberry flavor. So that no sugar, only that, eight calories. And yes, sounds like a mistake. My wife is Canadian, actually. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, that's that's how we say hello in Canada. <laughs> no, I know. No, she's from Quebec, so it's like. Oh, uh, mon Dieu, Tabernacle. Eh? Tabernacle, c'est si belle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, je sais. Je comprends. Je sais, oui. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually took French immersion. It's top grade nine French. It's sad. Uh, but anyways, see, we've got our connection as well. This is this great. is it. This is it. Um, this is easy. But cheers to you. Uh, welcome to our tong, sir. Oh man, uh, thank you. This is a damn fine time. Wow, thank you. Uh, cheers, was... chin chin. Chin Chin, I love it. Nick, I have not laughed so hard in I don't know how long. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. Well, uh, uh, I mean, I, I hope I was not, you know, I hope I was part of that laughter and not, and not you know, laughing oh, at. Priceless. Absolutely pri priceless. Yeah. No, oh, priceless. No, that was fucking golden. I love it. it I love that shit. I, I, it, it makes me, I, I do want to know, um, and, and we'll get out of here after this. Do, I know you've got your theater background. Do you have an improv background as well? Because you're quick. Like you're I, 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 I don't have an improv background because I'm not that quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Contrary uh, to popular belief yeah. or what we've yeah. seen here today. Um, I don't know. No, not, not. I, I did some stand up when I was a kid, but that went badly. So now I do sit down. That's a terrible <laughs> yeah, joke. Yeah, That's a terrible joke. No one laughed what? at that. No one laughed at that. Joke. Yeah. Terrible. No good. I can't. I can't. Um, <laughs> when you head back and everything gets taken care of. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Um, folks, I hope you had an absolutely uh, fun time like we did. We, I, Like Steph said, we haven't laughed like this. I don't think we've ever laughed like this on this show. Oh we always have a good time on this show. Uh, I want to ask another thing. I'm oh. sorry. No, Brett, not on no the get it. Get no, it. No, go well, ahead. <laughs> why Brett asked him to fed the alligators? No, he said he was going to feed him to the alligators if he didn't if pass. He the oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Only if he failed, but he passed. He passed with thank you. Fucking thank colors. you. Yes, yeah, so. I'm glad. I was so, scared about the alligators. I I erased <laughs> I erased the text message or the DM message. So he's good. He's solid. Nick is officially one of us. He's under our protection now. Thank you. So, thank all you right. Much. That's but a relief. By putting that out there, by oh, Brett putting that out you. there, well, thank that means you. he has to deliver and be on our show. Well, yes, yes, it does. does right? to be on the show. It is an open door policy here for for everyone on the cast. We have not, we have not had a bad cast member on here. Like we haven't had, had a guy, which which is so weird because like literally we're just a bunch of fuckers out here. <laughs> you know, really, really, Big we're time. just like, hey, we like the show. You guys want to talk about it? And then uh, we've had a lot of the actors come on, and they've all been beyond amazing. This has been my favorite, just for fun-wise. I've had so much fun uh, joking around and stuff. And uh, I, the, the door is open to everybody at Warrior, honestly. Whether we get cast on the show or not. You should be good. I should all be on the show. I'll be a water girl. I'll bring water. I'll, I'll be a If we all call us, we'll do the after show, just like Star Trek and all those other shows have the after. We'll be like the talking dead, but we'll be... <laughs> We'll be we'll be entertaining. Uh, good. Um, I'm kidding, Chris Hardwick. We love you too, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you had a great time. Uh, Nick, where can uh, where can folks follow you if they wanted to? What do you got coming up project wise? I there's a little show called Warrior. It's <laughs> starting wow. two months. Yeah, wow. really. It's weird. That's all. Yeah. That's all. Uh, just, I I have no, no not much, man. I I am I, Warrior is my thing that, that's coming up. That's it. Awesome. And I'm not on social media and or anything, so 
You, know, you are you so lucky. Yeah, yeah, I, I, know. I am so envious of you. I really up. am. See, you know, that makes it yeah. all the more special. We are honored. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, oh, my pleasure. You guys have been amazing, man. This is a, such a beautiful way to spend a Sunday. Wow. Beautiful. Right? Yeah, yeah man. Cheers out indeed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had a great time I, uh, and had a lot of fun with us here today. I want to say a big shout out to my Tong here, our whole Tong, Nick and Tom included as well. Um, but Nick, now that you're part of the Tong, you got to join in on our sign off. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, 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 wait. We got to hurry up and do the quick sign off real quick. So just in case. Oh, yes. Will you guys. Me. Yes. Yes. So remember, you can follow us at the hop this way at Facebook and Instagram, where we, of course, just post up updates and the fucking show. And <laughs> you can officially watch our show on our YouTube channel. You, we don't have enough subscribers to, again, like I see, say all the time, we don't have enough subscribers to actually be called youtube.com backslash a hop this way show. So subscribe and do all that fun shit so that way we can actually have it. And also, just in case if you cannot watch the show in its entirety because you can't, but I suggest that you do, <laughs> we are in podcast form on Apple and on Spotify the hop this way show so you can listen to us and you can do whatever it is that you do and multitask. So yeah, there you go. Now Zeus, it's all, it's all you go ahead. Well, now we all start from one side and we move to the other as we say, let's all get some sticky. Good. <laughs> thank, you, thank you, Matt. Thank you, Steph. Thank you, Rebecca. Thanks, Frank. And thank you, Tom, as well, for being on it. And thank you to each and every one of you for tuning in. And we will all see you next time on the Hop This Way.